My name is Sharon Johnson. I am a fourth grade teacher at PS241 Family Academy. Excellent. And I understand you guys were doing Portal in the Park in the curriculum this year? Yes. Um, we were introduced to Portal in the Park by a student named Justin who was excited about sharing the book with us. So my class read the book and it was so inspiring because the students really didn't think about themselves more so than just being in the classroom, but also being outside and enjoying what life has to offer as far as being healthy, taking care of yourself. And it was just a great experience for them and they especially loved the songs because they're all hip hop and they're kind of Master Flash Melly Mel, so they really got into it. I'm a big fan of hip hop and I like positive words inside hip hop in my whole kids. Because now these days, hip hop is only with bad words and stuff like that, negative stuff. But if you can listen to hip hop positive, it will help the kids. Like most songs, like in rap or hip hop, they use um, positive words. And so, when, they, when he uses positive words, I think it's better for little children to listen to. What did you think about World was, Family Tree? It was great. I like that song. It makes me, it makes me, um, love my family even more for some reason. It's dedicated to your parents too, but it was like, if you love your mother. I think it was an educational song, and it told us that we need our family and friends. I think that they use very powerful words, and that you should always love where you came from and never forget it. Now you guys liked uh, World Family Tree so much that you did at the graduation. What inspired that? We were inspired by the fact that the song really spoke about going back to what I guess the roots are, where your parents are from, where are your grandparents from, and kind of taking that and elaborating as far as the song is concerned. And the kids enjoyed it so much because the song is so positive and it's so uplifting. So they really got into it, and I noticed that my class got into it. So since I was doing the fourth, grade, fifth grade graduation, I said, "Well, why not? Let me just use it as one of the songs to see what see what happens." And it really turned out to be quite lovely because the students they were more so into it, and the girls were just singing like crazy, and the boys were doing the rap part. So it really worked out well. <laughs> Sometimes, like when it's Ramadan, we have a family and we all come together and we have fun and we like it's like it's just like a fam um, a festival and we all eat and we have fun and we talk. That's what remind me of family. Trip. This song had a lot of positive words in it. What did you think about that for hip hop? I thought that was kind of weird for the first time because usually hip hop is like about thuggish things and that was about educational things. That's what Melly Mel was trying to do. Did you like that thing? I thought that it was nice because, <clears throat> like, every rap song, they do curses and, like, you hear one about thugs, robbing them. And this song, you got educational about love. What was different in this hip hop, Melly Mel's hip hop, than maybe normal hip hop? Melly Mel's hip hop was positive. Every song in the book was positive. Um, and com as compared to the songs that you hear out there today with curses and you know really degrading women and really not focusing on what a family is about and what a family is supposed to be. And those were the two differences that I saw especially and bringing it into the school was something that was really important to me because my students listen to hip-hop all day long. They know the lyrics to every single song that's out there and this was something that really not only encouraged them to think more positively but you know their parents were more 
apt to be positive role models hearing them sing the songs. Nobody's for you! 